Hi, welcome back to the See the Rwandan Stories, the signature segment of the three-hour news show. And still with us, Nadia and Jazz. Chris and Nadia, how is it going so far? Look at my painting. That's beautiful. Thank That's beautiful, you. Chris. Yeah. Is that a carrot? Come on. No, just <laughs> guess. <laughs> <laughs> These are um, baby pink flowers, but it's not right. done yet. You, All right. you have to see the finished product later. Sure. So I'm gonna concentrate. So can we? to see the final results. So Jess, mm -hmm. what are your expectations by having painting classes for all ages? So the aim for Bartica is that we actually want to make art more closer mm -hmm. and more accessible and more fun. Right. Because I realized that growing up here in Indonesia, people or the educational system does not really champion art subjects. That's true. So we welcome everyone to join to try painting for the first time and see that it's actually not that intimidating. Mm -hmm. It's very fun to do, to like just paint your brush uh, through the canvas and see whether you like it or not. If you do like it, you can continue further, but if you don't like it, you can still use it as a quality time to spend with your loved ones or even to break your fast during Abu Burit hour. Right, so yes. any upcoming project for you in the next four months? Yes, so we are actually in the process of creating our progressive classes. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also releasing easy paint by number products that people can do at home. Right. So they can just fill out the numbers in the blank canvas. So it's easier for people who don't even have any talent or skills to create an artwork. So we are trying to create more fun classes that people can do in Jakarta, especially. Okay, so, um, well, refreshing my memory back to the school, mm -hmm. like um, in arts class, I mean, like it's not that too intimidating compared yep. to math classes. Exactly, yes. So I think it's going to be good for your kids, for, your, for you, for yourself, if you want to um, explore more about yourself um, in art, so just come to Bartega Studio. Yeah, because we have classes for kids from six, ages 6 and up. 6 and up, yeah. yeah. So we cool. make more uh, arts and crafts uh, activities for kids that is more easier for them to do. Because uh, while we were, when I was a kid, all I painted was the mountain and the rice field. Right. Same here. Yes, <laughs> and the sun and the tree birds. Three birds. Yes, but in our kids' classes, we try to explore a lot of different variety. We educate them with animals, with different weather. We not just paint, but we also educate them a bit with a lot of activities as well. So, um, Rizia told me about like the basic um, pictures that always uh, kids regularly paint mm -hmm. when we do the, the art class. Yes. So, how how do you guys see? Um, the perspectives of our kids, like the young generations, on painting? Um, I feel like kids in general, they are more of a risk taker. They don't follow the rules. They always draw outside of the lines. Right. And I feel like that is one of the most special thing about being a kid, actually. Right. And that's why we try to encourage as well in our classes to like not be afraid of mistakes, try to explore your creativity. And there is no right or wrong when it comes to painting. Because back way when I was a kid, my teacher used to tell me, oh, what you're painting is not right, what you're painting is not good. When in fact, uh, the teacher should be more encouraging and try to express self-expression through the kids. All right. So yes. again, I'll catch you uh, highlighted again. Mm -hmm. The next project. So the next projects uh, that we have in Bartega is that first we are uh, releasing our progressive classes. Uh, and also this month, we are actually doing our kids art camp. So it's actually a six day class program where kids can learn six different paintings. Right. And they get to learn about the kangaroos, they get to learn about the llamas in Peru. Right. So a lot of different factors so for kids. All right, Jess, we can update our ladies yes. over there. So Nadia, Crisia, Yes. show us the progress. Oh, I Ooh. see that. Now you see a flower, not yeah. a carrot anymore. I love, I love the pattern of colors though, like blue, violet, pink, yeah. yellow. It's not done yet, but I'm still gonna put the red dot in yes. the middle of the flower. You can make it as colorful as you want. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sometimes people like to make it more vibrant with the colors. Sure. But there are also people who like to play with them, the monotone, monochromatic yep. uh, approach. I feel like giving some colors today. Yes. So I use uh, more than three colors. Yeah. So Nadia, tell us what you're making and the inspiration behind it. It is like <laughs> a dot. Like. Yes, these are actually moons. Ah. Because. By the month of Ramadan. Yeah. Ah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Very I different. 
Her, her paintings are so neat yeah. compared to mine. Yeah. So what we awful. saw from our participants who join our pottery classes is mm -hmm. they get to like customize and paint whatever they want yeah. right. on the potteries. And once it's done, it can actually be a cute mug that they can uh, <laughs> drink every morning for their coffee or yeah. their tea. I can see it. I can okay, see it. you know what? Just give me one minute. I'm mm -hmm. almost done, and then we can proceed to the next challenge, which is for you. Oh, for challenge! Us. What are we gonna I do? Love give challenge! Me a I don't few know. Seconds. That's Krizia. Take over. Oh, Krizia still working done. on the mug. Okay. I'm done. She's That's done. It. Oh, show the uh, camera, please. Yeah. All right. While we're playing game, I'm still gonna continue. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So, so what is the uh, game? This Tell is a, actually a tradition in the three-hour news show. Uh huh. Um, our guest has to participate in a challenge or a game, and today uh, the game is for you and Jazz. Or Yay! Not yes, you both. Me and Jazz. Uh, you yes, and Jazz. Okay. All right. So Jazz and Adit must guess. The artist behind the painting, okay? Okay. So facing this way because I'll be the judge. Okay. Right. So you just have to guess. You're you're so artsy, right? <laughs> you must know Let's see, all yeah. the paintings. Let's see, Chris, yeah. All right, Jazz, are you ready? Uh, I hope so. You I, hope so? Yeah. All right. Oh, Chris, yeah, before that, um, like our creatives give oh, us what this. Is this? So we oh, have that's to the bell. So try to ring it. All right, if you know the answer, ring it. Okay. Right away, okay? Right. Are you ready? Yay. Question number one. Let's see behind us. Oh, you want to go? What, was the, what is the question? Uh, the painting. The, the title of the painting and who's the painter? Oh, it's a Mona Lisa. Yes, um, by? Took a place in La Musée du Louvre in Paris. Ooh, ooh. Created by uh, Leonardo da Vinci. And the answer is? Yes! Nice. Even he knows where it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, question number two. Come on, Jess. Two. Okay, can do it. See. We can do it. Let's see it. Okay. Sorry, he All read right. it first. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a Starry Night yes. by Vincent van Gogh. Oh my god, he's good. Let's see the answer. It's right. See? Fun fact, you can actually paint this in our classes. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Vincent van Gogh Very painting. Oh, all right. Yes. Congratulations. Two points for Adi. Yeah. Come, on, Come on, Jess. <laughs> Question number three. Okay. Mm. That's Salvador Dali. Yes. Um, the title? <laughs> I forgot the title. <laughs> it's kind of long. Not long, but longer uh, than the it first has one. time in it. Um, oh, no, it has something to do with the brain. What do you store in them? It's um, time collapse. No, no. No, the the it starts with a T. Anyone uh, wants to guess? T. Yes. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Pass. Pass. I forgot this one actually. Okay, the answer is. Oh. The Persistence the of Memory, memory oh, right, by yes. Salvador Dali. Yeah, I just got the Okay, it's okay. Right. Two, zero. Okay. okay. Uh, now the next one, you can just answer the painter. All right. Okay, not the title of it. it maybe it's too difficult. Yeah, the next one. Is. So let's see it. Painting number four. Ah. And it? Um, the Scream. How do you know? It's Edward Munch. Yes, that's a good one actually. Three points for Adit. Oh, yes. <gasps> Amazing. <Thanks>. Okay. Maybe <laughs> you know what? You can apply for a job. <laughs> yes, you can actually help because you're teach so, those you're paintings so artsy. as well. You're so artsy. All right, let's move on to question number five and see oh. whether Jazz can answer this one. <laughs> number five. I know Jazz. this by Picasso. That's from his Cubism era. Yep. But the Painting title. That's all right. You got one point. One all point right. for you. So and the title of the painting is a Guernica. Yes. That's it. All Congratulations. Right. Thank you. And the score is four points for Adit. Yep. One point for Jess. Sorry, right. Jess. It's so rare that um, 
our host with <laughs> the <laughs> game, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing with us yes. about Bertega Studio and Nadia, especially for you. Thank you so much Thank for, you. you know, guiding me um, through That's painting lovely. this uh, ceramic. But yeah. I'm not done yet. Yeah, right. thank you, Jazz and Nadia, for coming to our thank studio. Thank you for I mean, like, today. Might be next time, Krizia, we have to visit the studio and we yes, have to practice to. our um, artistic um, yep. motivation yes. <laughs> or something like that. I think we're going to take a little break right now. Yes. And I'm going to finish this quickly. So uh, stay with us because we will be back uh, and feature some news about Ramadan in Indonesia and also abroad. Stay with us. Thank you.